Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey Spooks, Spooks was first today, Spooks number one, uh, and we'll <laughs> come close second, how's it going? Yeah, I am playing the uh, the Japanese version. Uh, Earth to Hunter told me, well, I watched Earth to Hunter struggle with Ninja Garden 3 for a, a while, um, but the limited continues put me off. I like to be able to learn and like keep trying, even if I die, so... Um, I think uh, I think I'll enjoy the Japanese version more gameplay-wise, but maybe it'll prepare me for playing Ninja Garden 3, like the US version, <laughs> in the future. Uh, but yeah, I need a GG 100 games, so I, I can't be learning Ninja Garden 3 for months on end just to get through it. Uh, but yeah, we'll play a Japanese version. That's good. I'll zoom my camera in because it's too far. Right? I don't know why. Anyway, I hope you're having a good week. There we go. I was either going to play Ape Escape 3, this, or there's a, another game I found in my big book, which I'll probably save for another day, called... What's it called? It was a Sunsoft game. I forgot what it's called already. It was... Um... Oh, God. I'll Google it now because I've forgotten. Oh no, I, I really forgot. I've, I've had a mental blank. Oh yeah, Euphoria, the saga, which is also known as it had a beginning of H in Japan. What was it called? Oh, it's a Sunsoft game I found. I didn't know it existed. But I've got to find a working version because there's no US prototype for this one. So there's either PAL or Japan. Um, I found a translation hack. I'll do it another day, I think. It's, it was called something else. Uh, what is it called? No one cares. I don't even know why I'm looking. <laughs> oh, yeah. He Hebereki. That's the one. Hebereki or Euphoria. Sunsoft game. I'll save that for another day. Um, but I got, I'm going to no get the hacks working. To fuck Metal Slug <laughs> Neo Geo. Oh, who added that? But yeah, we're gonna stick. We're not gonna play Escape Free yet. I'll, I'll do that when we're beating this one. Um, don't know how long it's to take, but I want to stick with the uh, Nez. I'm with this controller again. Like it. Still liking it. The D-pad does keep twisting around for some reason. Probably need to stick it down better. But it should be. you should spin your head before heading into game for good measure. All right, I do. I tell you what. I got four pickups. I'm gonna do one per redeem, okay? I think there's a I think there's a, a cooldown. I'm gonna do one per redeem, but I'm gonna show you the the best one first, Emil, because you redeemed it. So so here is here's the best pickup. You ready? Retro pickups of the week. <laughs> to quote Guybrush Freepwood, it's pink. I got the Barbie game. Look at this. I told you I was getting it. It's uh, it, the tagline is a glamorous quest full of magic, fun, and adventure. Uh, and you, it's a platformer in a mall with a big ass Barbie sprite. Uh, and yeah, it, it's very pink. What more is there to say? We will play this at some point. <laughs> Your search will take Barbie on incredible adventures through three, three different fantasy worlds. Mall world, underwater world, and 50 soda shop world. Sounds like quite an adventure for Barbie there. And there's a screenshot of each. So there's like, you're a mermaid in one, you're shopping in the mall in the other, and then you're like, I don't know, 50s inspired. There's, there's ice cream. But yeah, I thought you'd like that one. And yeah, I don't have NES pickup. <laughs> so there you go. I've spanned my head, uh, and I hope you were impressed. <laughs> now let's game. Okay, so this is the Japanese version, as I said. Let's put the music on. Don't think there'll be any problems running it. I assume the ROMs are universal. I guess some Japanese carts have different um, music, use different music chips, but it sounds alright. 
Uh, and I read this is before, story-wise, this is between Ninja Garden 1 and Ninja Garden 3. Apparently. Ah, Bloody hell. fucking bear! <laughs> That's, that's like a jump scare now, when you come in. God, I crush my bollocks in the machine. Oh God, the agony. <laughs> I hope you're not serious. If, you're, if, you, if you are serious, I hope uh, your nuts are all right. Uh, and welcome. <laughs> Get some ice. Get some ice on the nuts. Uh, okay. We can't read the story unless I get Google Translate up. So this one, had, so I've read the differences are, this one was well, obviously Japanese, but um, less enemy spawns, you get checkpoints like you did on the old Ninja Gaidens, like per level. I know it continues and there's a password system. The US version has none of that. So yeah, I think I've, I think I've chosen wisely <laughs> for a first playthrough, because it means we actually might get to the end in one stream, might be a bit of Ninja Gaiden too, which is always good. Uh, you know how many tons we're talking about? I wouldn't have nuts left. <laughs> oh god. It's like Barbie and the Nutcracker. You see my pickup? I've got the Barbie game. I told you I'd get it. Bet you want me to play that shit. He makes a noise! Ha ha! Like it. Uh, everything else feels the same, I guess. I can walk like you can uh, roof climb. I like that. That's new. My sword looks beefier as well. Is that longer range? Feels beefier. Yeah, I like it. Oh, this feels really smooth. I like it a lot. Very nice. I don't like one room, it's cool. Uh, gotta work, setting shit up. Might not be back, it's taken time, ain't no problem. Thanks for saying hi anyway. Hope your shift goes well. Get through it. And uh, hopefully speak to you later. these icons do. Pickups. I guess you'd have to look through the manual to know that. Don't think I have this one. I've got Shadow Warriors 1. I don't think I've got number 2 or 3. If it was even re released here, I don't actually know. Not boss already. Problem. One time. What was that like a robot baby in the background? <laughs> so it looks like. Weird. Let me get Google up. It's too slow for that one. I'm nothing suspicious. There's something that happened to you. It's like Castle Rock. To get there, there's a lot of stuff. Wait a minute. To get there, I have to overcome a lot of obstacles that he created. Who is he? He's like Castle Rock. Right now, I don't have time to talk about it in detail. You'll understand... When you get there, you'll understand Irene Hurry. Uh, that was very broken. But okay. I assume we're, like, saving Irene like in every other game. Okay, we have Weak Sword now, so you must get an upgrade to make it powerful. Let's see what, I what icon gives you a powerful sword. Because I like the powerful sword.
not the flame. They're just regular power-ups. Not the blue. It's a uh, Ninpo. Got it yet? Got the shuriken. Looks like a sewer. Oh wow, this sounds awesome. That one, the sword. Must be that one. Red sword, that's what we want. Yeah, like that. Awesome. Oh, I also heard there's no respawns as well. When the when you kill an enemy, like on the old game, they re keep respawning to fuck you over. Not on this game, though. Long range on the sword now, right? Oh, wait. It's the first time I've seen an auto scroller on this as well, I think. Be that way. As soon as I saw the life, but yeah, it's definitely gonna be the other, other direction. Those all got power. Run out now. So he seems to fire downwards. Just realise how much health I don't have. But he's nearly dead. One more hit, maybe. When he swings back. He comes down here. Yeah. This castle rock defeat. What? This is. What is the response of this castle rock defensive line? What's that even mean? <laughs> no one has come back alive from here. Did Irene come here? Her? Uh, I do not know. Irene resisted you. Oh, what? Irene is being blamed for causing her death? I remember it very well. What the fuck? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. We'll probably meet again soon. At this time, I'll be glad that you are still alive. I will definitely bring the truth to you. Wait, Foster? Should have found a translated ROM hack. <laughs> Never mind. This is this is the consequence of choosing easy mode. Oops. 
That's my first death. I tried. I didn't know if I could jump off that. I guess you can't. Can you jump up though? Ah, you can jump on top. That's my fault. I didn't know you could do that. Fish. So can you jump downwards? Yes, I took damage. Take a sword. No! <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> I should have went for it. You can jump very jump very far backwards. No sword upgrade this time. Oh! I didn't press jump. Passes on this one. I assume we just press start and carry on as we should. of that sword now. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go one of these directions. Oh, I didn't see the blob. I see him now, blobs on the ceilings. fire shield at the moment.
Uh, I've already got a sword. I've already got the sword power up, haven't I? I'll tell you what, I haven't seen many of, which is nice. Fucking birds. Sick of birds on that last game. There's no birds here. This is that flying thing. That wasn't a bird, was it? Oh, these are like the little gargoyle things you fight on the old games. Oh, I took too much damage. That's my fault. That's probably one of the sword upgrades there. There's life. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, Doctor What. Nah, this is the Japanese version, so don't worry. Don't worry. We got this. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing the Japanese one when we get the unlimited continues. Uh, and there's some other differences as well. So it's a, I think it's um, considered a lot easier, but I, I still don't think it's going to be an easy game because it's Ninja Garden anyway. So, I mean, I don't think you're going to make an argument that it's easy. Just easier. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> How are you doing, Doctor What, anyway? Yeah, I have to hunt. I played um, Ninja Gaiden 3, and I think he was doing it a very, 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 very long time to try and, you know, beat it with those limited continues. And that's what put me off. I like I like to, um, like, persevere and learn and not have to restart every five seconds. So that's why we're doing Japanese version. to die here. <laughs> I'm getting by. I've not been too bad, thank you. Yeah, pretty good. I'm doing a challenge this year to beat 100 games and I'm on 41. Uh, so game-wise, we're doing pretty well, I think. But yeah, I think it's well at home. Thank you. Okay. They block my attacks unless they're crouching. Wait, that one's blocking all my attacks. Can you only hit one of them? Ah, oh, shit. That's my fault again. I've got one down really well. Two I can do. Three, though. I hate three. <laughs> I, did, um, I did two on Monday, my first playthrough. And, yeah, two was all right. I think, I think all the practice I got with one really prepared me for two, because I didn't find two as difficult as one. There was frustrating bits, like with the birds everywhere, but um, I think overall, I had an easier time with two than I did one. But yeah, I, I think that's just the practice from, from number one, like the wall jumping and all those things you can do. Right, I think only one of these is vulnerable. Yeah, there is. So if they swap over, I don't know if they, they need the swap. There we go, that was easy that time. Just had to hit the right one. Don't know what I'm saying, though. <laughs> Love. That's all it said. The one who killed Irene and turned me into a murderer is... What will you do there? Ah, oh, this is really broken. <laughs> this is terrible broken English. <laughs> you just have to go by the, the cutscene. We don't know the story. While I'm playing this one, I do hope that um, one day I'll tackle the US version and this is, should be good practice. I know it's harder, but this would be good practice. Prepare me for it. Like, learn the, the boss mechanics and stuff, right? So you're ready for the <laughs> limited continues version. But yeah, I didn't have this. Uh, I think... I don't know if we had this one. We had um, Shadow Warriors. I can't remember seeing a Shadow Warriors 3. There must be one. Warriors. 
Should have worries free. Maybe it was called Ninja Gaiden again here, I don't know. Ninja Gaiden free pal. Pff, don't know. Don't know if we had it. Uh, I got a buddy who can uh, beat the hitless on a guitar controller. Beat this hitless on a guitar controller. <laughs> nice. That's pretty impressive. That that must have took a lot of time. I, to be fair, I, I want to play as many games I've missed out as possible. Like, so I, I doubt I'm gonna spend <laughs> years of my life perfecting the art on a, a Guitar Hero controller. But yeah, kudos to him for for doing that. <laughs> Take some dedication. I was in my loft the other day, and I found we, we've still got the um, Guitar Hero band box, band in the box set. So we've got the, the drums, the microphone, and the guitar. All up there. Uh, which little controller? That part ain't a big deal. Uh, you've dedicated... You're a dedicated little dude, Muffin. <laughs> Thanks, Mill. I'm dedicated to, to beating as many things as possible that I've missed out throughout the years. But yeah, going by my uh, NES Bible, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. Including Barbie. We've got to play Barbie now. Oh! Shit. <laughs> okay, it goes black and white when you die. So the enemies don't respawn continuously on this. Shadow on Game Boy, that one short enough for you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never, never played that one before. Let's, let's, let me put this on the list. Nice. Uh, da, 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 I got the list here. It's a few hours. Yeah, I think some of the Game Boy games, um, while they're shorter, if you know what you're doing. They can still be long if they're like really difficult. But I've done a few Game Boys in this ch Game Boy games in this challenge. Uh, we did Batman and we did Gremlins two and all sorts. So then I put it on the list. Thank you for that, Redeem. Nice. It's quite short. All right, I'm gonna have a quick Google of that one actually. I wonder if I can buy a copy of it. Ninja Gaiden Shadow. Wait. Oh wait. Do I have this? Oh no! I think I've got the Game Gear version. I've, I've seen. I've got. I've got. I've seen that box art on something. I've got. It might be a Game Gear. Because it's, it's um, Shadow Warriors here as well. I think it took me under two hours. My first. All right. Cool. Sweet. Well, that sounds that's, that sounds perfect for this <laughs> this challenge. Sweet. Right. I've added that to the list. Thank you very much. Got it. I still got some of your <laughs> redeems from last year on the list. <laughs> I'll be honest. I did buy a copy of um, Eternal Darkness. For, for maybe maybe for like Halloween time. Because I think some of the ones you redeemed, well, several of the ones you redeemed were horror ones, weren't they? It was Eternal Darkness and there was uh, Clock Tower. No. <laughs> yeah. Don't go redeem redeeming uh, survival horrors. <laughs> I 
pues. That's the thing I keep forgetting. You can't do a, a slash when you're on a when you're holding onto a wall. You have to do a, a power up. Just timed that terribly, didn't I? It's such a slow death animation. It's like, did he die? Yeah, he did. with the long sword, isn't it? Climb on that. Okay, I need to get that sword. Against now. He's burrowing. Oh shit, he's got a special attack. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should have moved across. How much damage can I take? He's safe in the middle then. No, he still jumps at you. There we go. Nice.
I'm Clancy. Clancy Foster. I worked. Oh wait, I worked with Clancy Foster on Bio Hub. <laughs> what is this saying? This could be anyone. Hello, I am also. No. Is there no, no, it says I can't keep up with him anymore. He created a creature called a Bionoid in his early days. Hold on, Emil. I'll, I'll grab it. <laughs> it's been the head again, yeah. I put I pause it as well. When a god dies, a dimension is torn apart. It was born. Is it, it what? <laughs> it's like I can't translate until it gets right to the end of the sentence and I'm too late. The mountainous castle rock is the source of that energy. Foster is there. Foster has built a garden and is conducting research on life energy. Don't know what it's saying. <laughs> There's some cutscenes in Ninja Garden too, they're pretty cool, weren't they? And we have one like this as well. The big castle in the background. Are we against a castle this time, or is it a lab? Lester is such a nerd. Hell yeah. It's a castle, but it's a different kind of castle. It looks more mechanical. Alright. Alright, let's pause this uh, for a meal and a retro pickup. I was going to quickly see... Um, so I don't have I don't have that Ninja Gaiden game on Game Boy because I would have seen it the other day because I did my if you look at my collection I've been gradually filling it in uh, and I added all my Game Boy and Game Boy Color stuff to the sheet I haven't done Game Boy Advance yet uh, but Ninja Gaiden wasn't one of the games <laughs> less the best of Super Duper Hero in the history of the world <laughs> need to beat that game um, I think I might have Shadow Warriors on the on the Game Gear I'm just gonna go have a quick check. Um, but then we'll do a retro pickup. Nah, the box art's the same on uh, Master System. I must be getting confused. Sorry, right. I'll try and get a cart only of it so we can play it on the Super Game Boy. I won't. <laughs> Alright, let's have another pickup. Retro pickups of the week. Okay. So we've had we've had Barbie earlier on the NES. Now we have Barbie's Prince. He's not really Barbie's Prince. I got Prince Valiant on the NES. Uh, <laughs> this was on cash converters. I don't, you can be a Barbie. This was in cash converters, and it was cheaper than the eBay price. So I, I picked it up, not knowing what it was. I've since watched some videos of it. It kind of looks like a, it's not a platformer. I think it's more of an adventure and you have to like explore dungeons, go through doors in front and behind. Like, So it's kind of a 3D exploration, how you describe it, but you can like go in layers of the map. Um, yeah, I've never seen this one played before. I just grabbed it because it was an NES game and yeah, it was cheap. Uh, but yeah, this is it. Prince Valiant, have you played this one before? Emil or anyone? Is it crap? Is it good? I guess we'll find out when I uh, eventually try it out. But yeah, that's my second retro pickup. Don't think that's as good as Barbie. Yeah, nice box art on it though. Never, no. It looks pretty, pretty uh, obscure. Yeah, I like the obscure games sometimes. <laughs> um. I'm really zoomed in now. I, I changed it earlier because I was too zoomed out, but now I think I'm too zoomed in. There we go. I don't want to see my face too close. 
Ah, Van, 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 how's it going? Uh, how does one concentrate on a first playthrough of Ninja Gaiden 3 when Barbie and Prince Valiant are inches away? <laughs> Good question. Well, just just make sure we're playing the Japanese version, so don't think I'm like highly skilled. <laughs> but yeah, Barbie is very tempting, isn't it? It's a very, uh, good, very, actually. very bright game. You should play it. Cheers, Emil. No. I'm glad you're one of the people that's so appropriate. How are you doing? And welcome in. Yeah, this is the first play. That's why I've gone for the Japanese version, because I, I wanted to uh, not get my butt handed to me with five continues or whatever you start with. That was close. It's a bit lucky, wasn't it? Yeah. Need to go up there. Because everything's a more mechanical in this one. I think everything was more like beastly and slimy and creaturey in the the last one I played. Everything's robotic in this one. There's no birds. That's good. Uh, Japanese version still packs a bite. Well, I hope so. I like to have a little challenge. <laughs> I just thought I, I really enjoyed Ninja Gaiden 1. I played Ninja Gaiden 2 on Monday and I really enjoyed it. got through that easier than Ninja Gaiden 1. And I wanted to play more of the same. And I think Japanese version seemed to be more of the same with the, 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 the continues and the, the checkpoints. And yeah, I like, this, I like this style more. I always say I like games with unlimited continues. It lets you like keep trying and learning without having to use states or replaying the entire game every time. See more of the game as well. So yeah, this, this is probably more up my alley. Oh shit. <laughs> All the way to the bottom. Do things respawn on this? I don't think they do. Oh, I wasted that, haven't I? It's okay. Well, everything's more mechanical apart from them zombies. And little bug creatures. They're in Ninja Garden too. They have little eyes, I think. Plants and things. Word. Oh yeah, and I also like games with passwords, because leaving things on overnight is never fun. Uh, I would say my least favourite style is hardcore, where you can save your progress, but the save file gets erased if you reset. Uh, turn the power off or get a game over. Not many games use that star, and I'm certain that's influenced by game, gamer retention. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've played a game like that. Can, have you got any examples of what, what do that? Is it like... Um, oh, what was it called? There was a roguelike that came out a couple of years ago that I think did something like that. Like, so there's Consequence. Uh, that, that sounds interesting, but it doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> At the end of the day, I want to have fun with my games. I don't want to <laughs> be stressed out a bit, losing all my progress forever. That'd suck. What's this? <laughs> Cheers, Emil. 
The late no, Diablo no. games offer a hardcore mode. Wow, no, I never, I don't know if I've come, I've come, I don't think I've played that one. I hate ones. this. No, 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 no. Not in hardcore mode, anyway. I played a little bit of Diablo, what was it I had? Probably Diablo 3 I had on PC. But yeah, that sounds like a mode I'd probably avoid. I know people sometimes artificially impose that kind of style on themselves, like for seen some Fallout players do that, where they say if they die, they die. But that's like a choice, that's not forced on you. That's it. Okay, it's quite a lot of enemies here. The fact that you can throw cats makes it awesome, Rondo of Blood. <laughs> I'm happy to give it a go. That not awesome. Jizz. Just 64 bit was playing a Castlevania yesterday and it was um it was like a hacked version of Castlevania 1 but they made it like into a Metroidvania like uh, Symphony of the Night. I think it was a fan game. It had a map and all sorts. Laser to the face, I guess that kills you. Them troops remind me of them troops off of Turtles, the arcade game. The ones that melt. The rock men things. Yeah, the sword upgrade's good because it means you don't have to crouch, you can just hit. Um, and you'll hit it from on the floor look like that. Can't go up there now, can I? It's a backtrack. Where did my power-up go? <laughs> Where'd they go? I could have sworn there was something there, that's why I went up there. These things disappearing behind me. Yes. <laughs> Run away. Like the little muffin you had no choice. Oh shit. I kinda like this style actually. I like these levels, the mechanic uh, circuits and stuff in the background. Reminds me of Power Blade. We have a cutscene. Mister. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's F. Kinnon. What? Kinetta? I have to shut you up? That doesn't even make sense.
If you imbue the life energy of the family in your picture, it becomes a wonderful bioid. The secret from your cough. <laughs> the secret. All right. I will extract the secrets of the painting family from your dead bones and create something else. I don't. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is the disadvantage of playing the Japanese version. We have no idea what's happening. Ninja cut down enemies. We'll just enjoy the, the cutscenes visually. I don't know who this is, but he's evil. You can tell by his uh, hulking mass and <laughs> red eyes. <laughs> Sorry to state in the obvious here. Kim go. Day two words you need are sushi and ninja. Nothing <laughs> else is meaningless. I don't think I spotted those words in the, that translation there, so I guess the story is of no consequence. Yeah, on some games, Google Translate has done a bit of a better job, but I think because the text appears so slowly, it can't translate things fully. Okay, I don't have, I have even less health this time than last time. That was bad. I said to do better. Keep it in front of him there helps, doesn't it? Like that. There you go. <laughs> Have more health, eight more sushi. Yeah, there's no sushi drops in this. <laughs> Eat scrolls. Blue scrolls. That's his uh, diet of choice. Are you trying to upset me, Clancy? Huh, whatever you say. Hand over this burden to anyone. What? In order to take back this desire... <laughs> Did you task to take back this love? That's right. Now farewell to all of you. Uh, a space connected life energy something something. I'm going to subspace. The life energy become mine. Something something. Wait, Clancy. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. That's what it said. I miss the times where I could scare you in your say good in your streams. Nowadays it's next to impo I'm, I'm just, uh, desensitized to it. <laughs> I very nearly added a new jump scare command for you, Emil. I haven't done it yet. It was the, um... 
because I see people getting jump scared by the uh Wow, I feel good. I was going to do that one, but I didn't want to get copy strike, copyright strike, so I don't know if you would. I need to, I need to test it out. <laughs> but if you want to try and jump scare me, Emil, there's an SFX redeem now, so you can send me a, a sound clip and I'll add it for you with the command of your choosing. Yeah, Freddy redeemed it the other day, but he didn't actually send me the command, so I haven't done one for him yet. Ryu! Are you alive? I'll come back alive, I guess. <laughs> Let's make it! <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Slippery. Ice level. Ice crystals. Like a nice slippery level. Like the worst ninja guide in the slippery level is the one on the master system, because once you slide, you do not stop. You just keep going, forever. Oh shit. Ended worse. They've got the giant pumpkins on their heads. What are they? Uh, so it's just like Pringles. Once you pop, you just can't stop. <laughs> what this game? Oh yeah, the, the ice. Yeah, the ice. The, the ice is terrible. The Master System game, the Master System Ninja Gaiden, doesn't feel like the same as these games, but it is pretty fun. Um, you can't climb up walls. You can just bounce off them, and like the ice is pretty janky. Um, but it's a good, it's a good one. And once you get, once you learn that if you get ninety nine, no nine 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 Ninpo, it doesn't go down anymore. So you have infinite Ninpo. Which makes the final boss really, really easy. But yeah, still a really good one. If you haven't played Master System version. It's uh, kind of unique. It does have a lot of birds in it though. Fucking birds. Sick of birds. No! Oh. I was kind of hoping that should hit me then, knock me back onto the platform. That was my fault. Shit. That sword upgrade, upgrade is really OP in this, I want it back. I might have to. I think I might have seen others stream the Sega Master System version. Yeah, it, it is really nice actually. I think it's one of the best Sega Master System games in all honesty. I think I streamed it like two months ago because I got a copy of it. Um, when I play Sega Master System, I usually use uh, my own carts because they're, they're pretty much all power anyway, but um, it runs alright. What's going on here then? Gone from technical to uh, slimy. It's more alieny now, doesn't it? Didn't mean to use that. In the back, you want it back for good? I do. That's not going to be a sound redeem, is it? <laughs> Shit. It's probably better than the ninja. Uh, you have to wear pretty thick nostalgia glasses before trying that Sega Master System. Is that the one where you run like up the screen? It's kind of like a, a shoot 'em up, but with ninjas. <laughs> I think I remember that one. It's got terrible box art. It looks like clip art. No, there's a lot of games like that on Master System, but I, I actually do really like the. Uh, the master system. I didn't have one when I was younger. I played it around a friend's just to play Axe Kid. 
Um, but there's quite a lot of cool games on Master System that don't see a lot of. Uh, that kind of underrated. Don't see. You don't see a lot. That one is that one. I remember that one. I think the Shinobi games on Master System are terrible. I briefly played those ones. I didn't like them at all. But yeah, Alex the Kid's Shinobi World was good. If you want to call that as a Shinobi game. I think if, if you sink through too far, you go through to the you drop through on these platforms. Obviously, you drop through these holes. Hey, cool runner. How you doing? We're using this Max controller again. Cause I like it. Uh, oh, good job I had that. There's a life up there. Christ knows how you get that one. Oh, touched him. Uh, just waking up, debating downgrading my 3070 for some cash and an A770. What's, th what's that chip? Is that an AMD chip or something? What's an A770? To pay for it, does it? <laughs> As I'm sliding into the platform while I'm chatting. <laughs> We're sinking. Slimy in here. There's a way up there to get the life. I reckon you can climb up here, actually. No, you can't. I was to see if I can get up there and climb, because there's a, there's a life at the top. I want to see where else, anywhere else you can climb up. Uh, that is Intel's high end right now, until they release the ba Battle Mage. Oh, I'm not familiar with the Intel ones. I think all the all the Intel ones were crap when I last built a PC. <laughs> Have you looked at benchmarks and stuff? Is that is that a good enough for you? Is it? Seventy thirty seventies are they are they huge? I imagine they're really huge cards. They're getting bigger and bigger, aren't they? Shit. In it five or six cards. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say you have to look really careful at the uh, comparisons because if, you, if you're like me and like you downgrade and it was not on par, I'd be pretty upset after investing in a, a 3070. But yeah, if it's if it's if it's like just as good, then why not? Fun to play with, I guess. I think I'm still running the, so I don't use my PC very much, but it has a 2070 in it. I'm gonna say. It's a couple of years since I built it. But yeah, the, the prices of GPUs has got absolutely insane. Like it's really put me off. Like I'm way more willing to like make sacrifices in like quality because like games these days, even low quality settings are, are passable. I've been playing stuff on Steam Deck and I don't mind. It's fine to me. Again, right. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Give me the life. Nice. No! Oh! 
<laughs> oh, he come from behind me. Um, they are underperforming right now, but they are pretty good for the price points. I don't really game on the 3070 though, so I'm not too, too pressed. I just use the 3070 for lossless encoding at this point. Okay. Do you, do you play like, you, when you do multiplayer games for everyone, is that on that, that PC or the 3070 or do you something else? Sorry to ask 20 questions. I was just curious. Bollocks. Yeah, for me personally, with, with kids now, like, being able to come sit in here on the PC and game that is not really viable. So I've literally just been playing on the on the Steam Deck when I want to play, play PC things. So mine was kind of a waste. I use it on occasion, but not very often. Uh, oh, we're doing another right to pick up, are we? Spin it. <laughs> Spin it to win it. Right, all right. Retro pickups of the week. Spoiling you today, Mill. Right, this is the third one. This is the third pickup. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll do the recap. So we've already looked at Barbie in pink, Prince Valiant in, well, whatever colours he is. He looks like Superman. Uh, and the third one I got was, this one came with Prince Valiant, and it was like a, like 15 quid. Uh, Battleship. The classic naval combat game on the NES from Data East. <laughs> it's just Battleships, all right? It's going to be really basic. Um, but I, I think that this, this would be quite fun with, uh, well... It's battleships. I doubt the CPU is very intelligent, but I'm sure it's fine. But yeah, I got this one to look nice. Like the box looked good. Man, your battle stations. You can't play that anymore. You've got to. Uh, uh, what's the what's the word? What's the word replacement for man? Staff. Uh, no. There's another word, and I've forgotten what the word is. can't think of the word. I'm useless, aren't I? But yeah, that was the retro pickup. <laughs> the third one. <laughs> uh, so pretty much Intel is doing all right right now. They are pretty competitive with AMD and Nvidia, but Nvidia both, but both of them have more options, better cards to offer Intel maxes out in that 300 dollar range right now. So their best card is on par with 3060 uh, or the 4060. Well, that's not bad, is it? I think isn't like the 60s, aren't they? Like for average, average user, right? <laughs> You're far from me. I, I, was, I couldn't think of the word. I keep using. Hold on. The word I was thinking of was. God damn! What is it? Maybe it's staff. Is it staff something? The inclusive term of a. Uh, Man, something. I don't play. <laughs> it doesn't sound right, but uh, I'm sure there's another word as well. Anyway, what are they doing? Oh yeah, sinking into this slime. Staff. S T A F F. I think that's a replacement. Oh! Bollocks. <laughs> like a pole arms, I guess. <laughs> I wonder if you make a profit on uh, that switch. Or if it's like pay for itself, I imagine you'd make a profit. Oh no, wor no worries. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I was trying to think of the, the the gender inclusive term instead of man, like man something. Is it is it staff something?
I'm trying to metal blank. Never heard that either. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a word, but I can't think of it. Okay. Got the life. There we go. Free. Okay, cutscene. That section was pretty difficult. I reckon that'd be even harder on the US version, right? <laughs> Humankind. The first one fell down, but... Fushidio lost his strength. Oh, it went away. Look, that might be amazing. Hey, say good Dave. How's it going? I have become a nuisance. I will apologize to you for being so negligent. <laughs> to kill you? What? I will show you how much if you come. Come? If you want to come, come. Okay, there's, there's lots of coming. <laughs> That's all I got from that translation. Just everyone, everyone wants to come. Oh, you have to get him in the back. Let's go and say good Dave. Stupid of me. <laughs> no, it's a jizz off. <laughs> yep. Why well, died in two in two seconds? He didn't do very good in the jizz off. I didn't die. Die. I'm still here. Soul Reven. Um. Well. Ah, bollocks. Hope all your PS2 stuff came, some games. You're having good fun with that. Nope. This section's only hard because they're not back. But you do get lives back. You kinda have to, yeah, to kill it first, then jump across. And then I can, uh, I should be able to get there now. Yep. For the jizz off. I see the pattern though. Didn't jump fast enough. Far enough. Like that. Oh, how'd that get me? Nope. I think I'm fast enough. No, turn around! Oh, I right, was hitting the wrong way. Then rocks fall in an awkward place. There we go. Nice. We have beaten them. Uh, SOCOM was not working, but only paid two quid. SOCOM was not working. Is that the US Naval, Navy SEALs game? It's this zombie guy. I've already used my life energy to awaken this itch. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the true form of a sneeze. Of this impetus. We're inside it. Do you understand? What? My thoughts exactly, Ryu. Earth. 
When the earth was born, it became its foundation. Uh, it became... Wait, when? The time has come. See it with your own eyes. It makes perfect sense. This translation's amazing. Oh, there's more. Too slow for that one. Cool cutscene, though. It's went from technological to really slimy and biological, hasn't it, at these levels? Epilepsy warning. Bloody hell, it's hurt my eyes. Uh, we don't need to translate that. You got it, the power of dimensional battleship. <laughs> or your base uh, belong to us, says Emil. Now the new lesson of it, uh, look, begins. However, taste? What? Oh, on an airship. This is like uh, the level on Shinobi Three, or is it Shinobi Two? One of them end on an airship. Um, I'm just gonna. Go, I just gotta quickly run upstairs and make sure Dexter's asleep because um, I didn't actually put him to bed. I just give him his iPad. Uh, so I'll be right back. Uh, I'm back. Sorry, Dex had to put, make sure Dex was asleep. I can't see the redeem more retro pickups, so feel free to spin your head when it did I do a maximum of three? Of Maybe I did. Alright. Oh yeah, that was on cooldown, look. Don't be cheeky. <laughs> be back in 16 minutes. <laughs> Muffin Bot would love to sniff that chair. Oh, I bet. Did Dexter ask if, anim if animals fart? No, he was asleep with the iPad on his face. So I, I took it off him. He's alright now. Okay. We're on an airship. This is pretty exciting. When you pause it, the, the, the parallax scrolling still goes on. I like This looks really nice. I, I like these graphics. Very, very nice. Fart. I don't think there's a fart SFX. You can redeem one if you want. <laughs> I'll have to add one then. Or soldiers. 
How did I miss that? Kind of getting pushed. Are we getting pushed back? I can't actually tell. Oh, yeah, we are. Sometimes we get pushed back, sometimes we don't. Okay, we need to climb up there. Fart. I really like the look of this level. Oh. Change direction. Here we go. That was very similar to Shinobi's freeze level in the on the airship. This looks different though. More pumpkin heads around. There's loads of enemies here, look. We're surrounded. Uh, I guess we have to jump up this side. Shit. Those bits where you don't on the on Ninja Gaiden one I'd go up and over, but I don't know if it works in this one. You gotta drop down. Oh, shit. Yeah, Dave, that SoCon game didn't work. Was that, uh, I assume that was a CEX jobby. I'd, take, I'd definitely take that back. They can clean. They probably clean it, but some of the stores I've bought stuff for don't, and they don't always check it as well. Some stores are better than others, though. I've, I go to a, a decent one in um, in Norfolk, and they check them before they give them to you. And if they're dirty, they clean them on the spot. They also don't take any like retro stuff with like damaged boxes and manuals and stuff. So I know if I buy from there. It's more likely than not going to be in good condition. Some of the shit sh shops are, are absolutely shocking. I was off eBay. Well, you still got fire protection. If it doesn't work, I mean, it, doesn't, <laughs> it probably costs them more in postage to sort it out. But yeah, you do you get protection on there. They they do always side with um, buyers if if there's something not working because it'll be listed as used, and used stuff has to work. If it's listed as spares and repair, then fair enough. Then you can't do anything about it. But if it's if it's used, tough titties on the sh on the, the seller. They have gotta put it right. Ah. Bollocks. There'll probably be a time where I need to invest in a CD cleaner. Don't know how much they are. Wait, why can't I go down here? I can't. No! That was bad. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't even see that there. Oh, it's like electricity things in the walls. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that. I just thought it was part of the background. Ugh. I want a nice re you want a nice resurfacing device. Do you know if they have a lot of money? Like they have them in CX for, for fixing CDs before they give them to you. I've got a few damaged ones. That could use uh, a good clean, even though they still work. They they could use a clean. Electricity. Yep. Oh fuck. Just open up for me to get him. <laughs> fuck it. <hell. laughs> Appreciate and thanks a mill. Uh I think industrial ones are a couple of whoa. Like one or two. I'll suggest you next time I'll stop at the arcade. Huh. Maybe there's someone who does it for you then. Like a service. You want a good one? Yeah, you isn't I wouldn't probably skimp in because it won't work properly, will it? It'd be like when you buy like some cheap tool from Amazon and that breaks after a couple of times. It sucks. I still wish I spent more money on like solder irons and stuff, because the ones I've got are okay, but they're not great. Although I did spend a little bit more on my desoldering iron. And that has been awesome. That saves a lot of time. Got a little vacuum in it. Uh, it shaves the bottom off the disc. Also, doesn't this buff it then? It actually takes it off. I guess it can only be used a couple of times then before it wears out. Shaves and polishes, that way it can eliminate scratches and impressions. Yeah, that does make sense. I guess it only has like a few uses per CD before it's uh, completely, completely fucked. Do that. Jesse swears by it. <laughs> Sounds better than toothpaste. <laughs> toothpaste doesn't work, everyone. It's bullshit. City's so brought some unlikely victims back to life. Yeah, nice. I'm, I'm sure it has its limits, but it's probably decent for uh, little scratches. I went through, like, I did, um,. I didn't check every CD because I'm lazy, but I went through my collection yesterday and I put all my... Well, this, these last couple of days I've been doing PS2, PS3, GameCube, uh, PlayStation 1, checking them as I go. Um, I found a few scratch ones, but they still work. But then I found a, a few that actually cracked. And I don't think there's any rescue in those, so I'm going to have to replace them. The, the cracked discs are uh, definitely write-offs. I can't use those anymore. To be fair, they probably come cracked because I bought bundles of some of the games. That's alright, they didn't have any crap games. So, like, one of them was Call of Duty World at War, and like you can pick that up for a couple of quid. But that was cracked. But I think I got that with a bundle. I have two or three cracked uh, in this, but yeah, that's, that's what I mean. It's that middle bit, and if it goes into the CD itself, then it's probably not going to work. And I probably wouldn't dare use it because they spin at high speed, don't they? And if it like shatters, it's going to fuck your uh, laser. Um. Yeah. Okay. How are we going to do? Oh, I bet we can. Oh, I bet we can. I know what to do. I know what to do, everyone. <laughs> Not that. The idea was sound, the execution was poor.
This is why I practice on the Japanese version before we even attempt in the US version. Because of the stupid deaths. I need to be there because I can't drop through the platform on that left hand, the right hand side one. I need to go into the middle. Like that. Then we have to time it right to get up there. That's a, that's a tricky bit, isn't it? Die. I am prepared. See? <laughs> uh, fuck off. Didn't see that. Best viewers. I got the best viewers right here, dickhead. Get it on the right hand side because there's an electric things in the way, so I've got to do this. Jump. No, it didn't work. You kind of have to drop down, but you also have to be pressing left where you uh, slide off. I haven't got the hang of it yet. Oh, maybe they're not pumpkin heads. Maybe they have, like, cycle helmets. I can't actually tell. They look like they've got pumpkin heads. I'm going to say they've got pumpkin heads. So, look, that, that sounds cooler. Still can't redeem any more. Uh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Because I thought I had unlimited... Well, actually, I can't have unlimited because I've run out of games. <laughs> no, it says 1 minute 33 a mil. You're being impatient. <laughs> it literally says when you pop it up. Does it not say it for you? It says for me. It's got a timer. It says 1 minute 33 until it can be redeemed again. Uh... Is, that is like me of the moon faces in Ninja Gaiden 1. <laughs> I can't remember them ones, but the, that looks like a pumpkin head to me. This is all like biological enemies, so maybe it is like a, like a beastly pumpkin head, not a motorcycle helmet. I can't tell. Uh, yep, there's... Hold on. 
Uh, there's no cooldown on my computer, so it just seems I can't redeem it anymore. Oh. Oh, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it in a moment. Let me get past this section, then I'll do it. Is that fair? You might be waiting a while. <laughs> I apologise. Fuck. It's close to that time. I think I have to jump though, because it puts you into that... Um, puts you into that electricity on the right. Okay, one one thing I don't I don't miss in this game that isn't in here is birds. There's no birds in Ninja Garden 3, and that is good. These don't count. The birds are so annoying. And they keep respawning in the Ninja Garden 1 and 2. They don't respawn on this. There's only one set of each enemy. Okay. Attempt number 10. I should have stayed hanging on it. I don't need to jump up, do I? Twat. Just hang on it. And jump up jump up on it afterwards past that platform. one yet. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, it's fine. This is training. You're lucky you don't have to go all the way to the beginning. If this was the US one, I probably would have had to restart by now. And that would have blown. That's why I like this. I like this system. Are they motorcycle helmets or pumpkin heads? Someone, someone tell me. You decide. It could be either. That, them guys, look. I can't have their mouths. Like... Mouths or helmets. Well, the other troops have got helmets. Crouch up left. Stay hanging on. Now get up. Go for finish. Don't die. Yeah, got it. Close to the end as well, look. Them bugs are like the spiritual successors of the birds, but they're not as annoying because they're bigger. larger hitbox. Spawned. That's good. Uh, do I want a life? Do I want the life? Yes. I'll have the life. I'm, sh I'm sure it's a trap. 
No, it's not a trap. It's fair. I got it. Alright, Emil wants the last retro pickup. I'll do this one for free. Retro pickups of the week. Yeah, you might be noticing the theme of the, the NES pickups, Emil. That's because they all came from the same place. Apart from Barbie. Barbie came from eBay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the bar Barbie's the best one. Battleships, yeah, it's all right. It came in good condition, so it's fine. Prince Valiant. And the last one I got is a Konami game. Uh, it's called Roller Games. It's the last one I got. Uh, Palais version of Roller Games. Um, again, I've never played this one before. It kind of looks like a beat em up on the screenshots, but I don't know if it's how it plays. Uh, but you roller skate around, look. Uh, and yeah, you have to. It looks like you have to fight things on your roller skates. Um, but you, this, this this appealed to me because it's Konami, and I like the the silver boxes on these ones. Um, but yeah, I haven't played this one either. Stop the most barbaric crime wave on ball bearings. It's nothing sacred. Roller games, the twenty first century most popular thrill sport, is the latest victim of viper, vicious international punks, and eternal renegades. With their greedy eyes on roller games mega prize money, their corrupted free teams and kidnap Emerson Skeeter Bankhead, the game's beloved commissioner. And you have to rescue him. Maybe look like maybe. That game is jank, but it looks kinda of like it does it does look cool, doesn't it? Yeah, roller games. I'll give it a try at some point. Pretty soon I'm gonna I'm gonna set up a different kind of uh, redeem like request. Like a platform, it looks kind of like you can move up down, like a like a beat em up. But maybe it's both. Maybe it's like a hybrid. Brawling, yeah. What's I saying? Oh yeah, I'm gonna set up a new redeem soon, and I'm gonna basically let you pick something off of my collection, uh, and we'll play the actual cart. Um, so it'll be PAL versions of things. Just don't know when I'm gonna do it yet. It'll be a different day, so we can still carry on with what I normally do. Uh, but yeah, we can then we can go like on PS2 and GameCube and all the other consoles. 360. Okay. Area three. Oh, spikes. I did read on the ship on the American version. These spikes do like a third of your health damage. Rather than whatever it does now. There's a spike up there, isn't there? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I like picking up Konami games because they all look that consistent uh, silver box art style. But there are some shit games that I'm going to have to get because there's some sports ones. I think there's like a, a Jack Nichols Golf or something I've got to pick up in that colour. I'm in no hurry. Hee hee hee, damn it, hee hee hee, Ninja Gaiden 3. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> hee hee. Hey, motherfuckers. Oh, where did he come from? Hey, hey, motherfuckers. Hell yeah. That's unfortunate. wanted that. No, oh, that's a spike. He twit. <laughs> What's the Amchar? Oh, he's bald actually, isn't he? Oh shit, I could... didn't notice that until it was too late. I didn't see them disappear in there. Noted.
Ah, so where do you go on that one then? Because you've got to jump across. You must have to jump all the way to that far side. It's a long jump. I'm sure you can make it. Because there's nowhere other way to go, is there? <laughs> you can only make it if you don't get hit the bloody <laughs> thing. <laughs> While you're close to the end. Am I? Nice. I don't know how many stages there are. Ninja Gaiden 2 took about four and a half hours on Monday. Ninja Gaiden 1 took a lot longer, but I did that one. The first time I played Ninja Gaiden 1, I had to beat it offline, but the second time I played it on stream, I think it took about five hours. This is a few little bits in it, like, um... Some of the levels have, like, little traps at the end that it takes a long while to get through. There's always a random bird or something flying towards you. there. Just wanted that. I wasted all the energy trying to get that. I didn't didn't need to, did I? Uh, the Japanese version of this is far more fair, which helps. Yeah, I like that it's the same as the first two games, really. It's like a... Like, I don't know if it's any harder or easier. I think the bosses have been easier on this one. But yeah, definitely, like, you get the progression, you get the, the checkpoint. This, you know, like, this style of game... It's like Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2, Castlevania, where you get like the gradual checkpoints as you progress without being punished too hard to make you start again. Yeah, I like that. It's more fun. You're not getting... Yeah, yeah. Five continues, isn't it, in, in the US version. Five continues, more enemy spawns, um, different pickups. I think there was a, a thing you get different pickups drop, which are probably more unfair. I'm under no illusion that the US version would be really fucking hard. But I, I, yeah, I'm just having fun. This is, this is good. Get to see more of the game doing it this way, don't I? Fuck oh, me, there's a lot of enemies here, though. Oh, why did, I, why did I stop here? <laughs> why did, I, did, I, did I think that would end well for me or something? I don't know what I did there. Uh, and the big sword is usually later in the stage for US. I like the bits of the big sword. I don't know how much different that is. On the first stage, you get a big sword pretty much straight away, but on the other levels, I don't think they're that off. They're, they're that common. Normally, before one of the boss fights, you see a, a big sword, at least. Wait, where am I going to go? It's nowhere safe. I say you pumpkin head or motorcycle helmet that enemy below I think he's got a big old head big old mouth but I don't know it's a moon face with a gun is that the what you call the moon face is it Except pumpkin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moonface looks a bit like him. 
moon face is that is that a technical term is that is that what they're actually called i know some of the manuals have enemy names in them ninja gaiden moon face i'm just searching to see if anyone else has called it moon face no there's no results <laughs> just got scantily clad uh ninja gaiden ladies uh that's that's not moon face is it Got a big sword. We've got a cutscene. <laughs> it's your turn. It's not giving me anything. It's not even detecting the language this time. Is that cell? He big. Look at this super life corrupted body. That's right. Cheers, Ryu. I am this Earth. Listen, Ryu, I want to protect this Earth from it humans. You're so young, so naughty, and so rude. What kind of human beings are small, obscene, and arrogant? Don't you think that people who are mean, nasty, and hateful should be destroyed? It's literally Cell. You become my friend. If you're a human being, you'll be fine. And I was born. On the reborn Earth, we will be born again. And we will create a new history on the reborn Earth. I'm grateful for this opportunity to hear from you. <laughs> so polite. Toon Skew Skin? You're the one who will fall apart this dimensional battleship. Oh, this has got an attack pattern like the... Uh... Not that bit. I was going to say, he's got an attack pattern like... Um... Ninja Guy in one bust. Not the, not the lightning, but the ship. But the uh, the things. Those flames coming down. Ninja Guy, Ninja Guy in one has a boss like that at the end. I don't know what to do differently there, apart from <laughs> dodge better. <laughs> Maybe use some of my special attacks. I didn't use any then. I've got 90, 90 Ninpo. I should use that definitely this time. Last life. Don't know if there's a health drop on the way, hopefully. No health. Any secret health up here? No. Okay. Oh, there's three lightning bolts. Not two. I can't just stand... <laughs> You're not allowed to stand still in a uh, spam. You have to actually... <laughs> you have to actually move. That was my mistake. So I don't think it's very, very far to go. It's like... Oh, yeah, there's D. So there's... Four sections, maybe? It was D, wasn't it? Not many sections. It's just this bit with the... Uh, this is the hardest bit, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> Damn, my, my power-up didn't uh, attack them. Didn't kill them. I thought it would take them out on the way. I think that's the only hard bit. Just the uh, the jump there. Because you've got to make sure them flying things are dead, but you can't really spend much time on this platform destroying them. Because the because the platforms disappear too quick. Alright, one life. Uh, I might as well die, but I'll just practice this bit a bit more. Oh, 
must be a better way to do it. We got a little sword. All right, you can stand on the edge, and you should have enough time to do it. That's that's the bit I was struggling with. Do that again. <laughs> it's all right. It's practice. I imagine if there's uh, multiple boss forms, like on the other games, if this is the final boss, I, it might be. But if if it is, and he's got like a couple of forms, I'll probably be doing the stage a couple of times as I work out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. I don't think I've ever beaten a Ninja Gaiden game in like one attempt on the last boss. So I normally end up doing the last stage a couple of times. Well, I've come close to doing a couple of forms on Ninja Gaiden 2 the other day. Oh my god, I did not jump. <laughs> I am a twerp. I tried to jump, my button didn't do anything. I must have been too close to the edge. Because I ran and then jumped. But I had the right idea. I did that. That was really stupid of me. I did it again. Why didn't the it's like I don't understand. I pressed the jump button. Did it disappear and I oh I see. If you get right to the Oh look if I look listen. Not that time. See that? There's a, a the corner of that platform. If you're on the corner of that platform he doesn't jump. See? So it's not it's not like on Mega Man when you have to get right to the edge and then Jump, jump to the fire. You have to jump in advance of getting to the edge, or he doesn't jump. So that's that's my problem. Okay, noted. Because that's got me like three times now. That that was that was my fault. <laughs> Let's just fall down the hole and do it again. This time. I lied. Not this time. Maybe this time. Do, 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 do. What the fuck 
fuck's sake. I can't skip, I need to get this sword. Okay. jump that is. Okay. We got no. There we go. <laughs> I was clenching my butt cheeks then. I made it. <laughs> to go on this bit I've forgotten. Oh that other side. Oh that was it. I think that was a life potion there. I was too slow. I did go the right hand side. Okay, I've got a little sword now. I can't jump on that one, so you have to jump all the way to the far side. Okay, okay. Over here, onto there. Get the health. Take them out. And we're Ian. Final room. Seven point three D. I got love setting up a tool for two and a half hours and still not getting it. Oh what? Oh that sucks. Well, the good thing is you get to leave and it's no longer your problem. That's the spirit. Yeah, I hope you're, I hope you're doing alright otherwise. Sorry to hear you had a shitty two and a half hours. Hi, everybody! Hi, Hi Dr. Dr. Nick! Okay, let's do this again. Okay, I think I have to run in one direction. How do you avoid the lightning? <sighs> Running is not working. Do I need to do something else? Do I need to jump? There was nowhere to hide. Gotta be some secret to that. 
So as soon as you hit him, the lightning comes down, but it comes down wherever you were. So maybe I did, maybe it's like, um, what was that game I played? Batman on Game Boy. Was it Batman? No, it was it was Astro Boy. And you had to wait for the lightning to come and then move a little bit and then move a little bit and then move a little bit rather than keep running because then you could avoid it properly. Uh, Servers are right. She leaves that machine like a pigsty. I cleaned it for her, leaving a note. It would be nice if she could keep it a bit cleaner. It's not so fun working by this machine. I cleaned it for you this time and I cleaned it proper. Come back the next day. No, thank you. And after a week, it looks like shit again. I wonder how it looks at home at her place. <laughs> and even the passive aggressive notes. Wow. Sorry to hear she didn't listen to you, but mm, you get your revenge. Like Kid Dracula. I haven't played Kid Dracula. That's, uh, I've got the ROM file on here. I saw you play it. No. Oh, yeah, it is like that. But you got to... I was too soon. Hold on. All right, you need to move a little bit more than that, but that is that seems to be the way. Don't keep running. I got it back up there now. So I need to I need to time that first one, the first lightning bolt, and then I could be able to do it. it wasn't passive aggressive, not that time at least. It's just so inconsiderate. If you left, did you did, but if you actually left a note, that is passive aggressive, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that the definition? <laughs> Being passive aggressive. Thanks, thanks for the note. Yay! Chainsaw has no ammo. Chainsaw no need ammo. Oh, oh. <laughs> if I had a chainsaw, I'd go to town on that final boss. Like, hail to the king, baby. And then I'd uh, chop his head off. She doesn't work anymore. What could I do? And I was more like a motivating, helping out. Depends how you read it. <laughs> it does because there's no emotion in in text. That's uh, I. You know how I am with when I'm reading the chat. I always uh, read it as though um, it's in a negative tone in my voice, in my in my in the voice in my head. I just can't help it. Nope. Oh, if you put a smiley face, then that's definitely passive aggressive. <laughs> like, smiley face, fuck you. <laughs> it didn't even work. You can swing on putting you, you putting you down. You fucking slug, I know. <laughs> smiley face. Kill him with kindness. <laughs> fucking bro. Maybe, maybe that's it. Sound food. Nice. Welcome. Yeah. That's a thing of beauty. When I kill this boss, it's gonna be a thing of beauty. You wait and see. What's the time? It's only ten thirty. Wow, I got through this quite quick. That's actually good because if I get through the end of this, I know it's still like a lot to go because I'm probably gonna have three forms to kill. Um, but I'll put on the uh, ape escape if I finish this. If, if I finish it in, in good time. Wait, can you run and... No, you can't run and crouch. Is he? <laughs> I need to pick the best weapon as well for this boss. I don't know what the orb does. What have I got now? It's the downward, downward fire, isn't it? Um, I think it's a downward fire. That one's a shuriken. 
And that's the upward flame. I think the upward flame's the best at the moment that I've got. I've got 90 Nimpo, so I can do a couple of shots, but I've still got to avoid the uh, lightning. I've got no health, so this is still going to be... No, that is so hard. I need to wait. This is hand. Maybe I didn't watch his hands. I didn't watch his sprite. Uh, it's crashing and running over a thing outside of Gears of War. Crashing and running over a thing um, outside of Gears of War. Flash product do you know? I've seen some games with that. I'm trying to think. Oh, Mass Effect 2 has that as well. I think. Yeah, I think on Mass, on Mass Effect. At least Mass Effect 2, I know. Plus, you can uh, crouch and jump over walls. Ninja Gaiden can't do it though, unfortunately. There's nowhere to hide. It's physically impossible. <laughs> Go outside and try. You can do it. We're unfit nerds, so I don't think we're um, as agile as some of these characters. <laughs> it breaks all previous game mechanics. Okay, let's try this again. His hand does raise, but you don't have it long enough to do it. See, so I can get over the. I can do them all apart from the first one. A pain in the butt. Now I've got no Nimpo left. Don't know about Crouch Run. <laughs> it's probably not possible. <laughs> Dragging your ass on the floor. Okay. Can't believe I just did that. What's the weapon I've got now? This this egg thing. I'm gonna keep it. I don't know what it does. I'm gonna keep it. I can't remember what weapon this is. Oh, it's a downward fire. That's no good. I picked the wrong one. Wait. I ran out of power. That would. If I had 90 Nimpo, that would have worked. He seems to fire slower if you keep keep it up, and I got his health half down. That might be the way to do it. Go with that weapon. But he's a pain in the butt because you can't avoid the lightning very well. He, he kind of raises his hand. Do you think? I'll try that again with more power. I don't like being punished, Ninja Gaiden Master System. And the problem is you need to predict where the first. You can you can avoid the lightning bolts if you by doing the little stop run stop run. But the first one I can't time properly because he raises his hand as he does it. So by the time he's like his sprite's moved, it's too late. You're already electrocuted. So I think I might prefer to um, tank the damage and use that downward attack, that downward special. Because I should have a lot of Nimpo by the time I get there. That was really stupid of me. That was even stupider of me. I'm going to die now, aren't I? Fuck. What am I doing? <laughs> That's the worst one yet. It's a shortcut. I lost my Nimpo as well. Delete it all. Shoot bouncing balls, Kickmaster. Bouncing balls. He wasn't flying. He was just falling with style. Super Mario Brothers 2. Nuts. Super Mario Brothers 2. Get some nuts. Okay, we're gonna do that next time. I've decided. At least for that first form, we're gonna spam up on the wall. Shit. Laser meal or proper meal? Proper meal. 
in between. Lazy meal. Did it in between last night. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> How bad is the lazy meal? Is it pizza? Was it nugget? It's, it's nuggets, isn't it? Nuggies and chips. That's not bad. It's still food. Pizza takes some time. Some take some real cooking. I don't do lazy pizza then. Shit. Oh come on! This is this is terrible. What am I doing? Lazy is putting it in the oven. I'm gonna make pita panis worth it. Hell yeah. We had pasta and mushroom and chicken today, and bacon bits. I don't know why I'm having trouble. I don't know why I'm having trouble with this now because I've been through this bit several times. That's what... I think I'm just getting impatient, aren't I? <laughs> let's, let's do that again. Let's get all my, all my lives back. That's the hardest bit. Hardest bit on the level. That, that, that. Don't know why I did it. <laughs> he wasn't holding onto the wall. He's just making me panic. Don't do that again.
the health boost there. Okay. Don't panic. Son of a bitch, where'd that come from? Right, how much Nimpo do I have? 90? On that egg power. I don't have it this time. Why don't I have it? Maybe I pick it up over here? Oh, there it is up there. That's what I want. This power up. 82. I haven't got a lot of health, so I can't tank very much. And there's no health pickups here. But I'll try. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. See, that was a... No, that was bad. I did not have enough health there at all. I should have just took the damage and restarted the section. It looks like you're better off starting on the right-hand side as well, rather than the left. Because he comes towards the left first, doesn't he? So I have less time to attack. So we'll get there more health, and the power-up, and enough... Well, we've got 90 Nimpo again, that must be the max. Here we go, it should be fine. Yeah, that's max. Right, so we're going to run across. And then we're going to... Go to the town. That's all we got time for. Oh, come on. No, you don't have enough. You don't have enough. You can get him down to four health. This guy, you've got to avoid. Avoid the stupid lightning bolts. That was with full health, and that didn't work. Damn it. Okay, I'm just going to have to learn the pattern. I'll still do that, because I, I got a lot of his health down, but... um. I need to do a better job of avoiding them attacks. as far as you can get. Okay, you know the strategy. Hmm.
There's a lot less traps in this game than Ninja Gaiden 1 and, 1 and 2. I'll say that. So it is fairer, I guess. Up to now, the bosses have been really easy. Like, this is the, the hardest boss I've faced. He put his finger up my ass. He didn't Squash. do... He might as well have done. <laughs> It's a really tough fight. So we're going to come down to avoiding those lightning bolts in this first attack. And spamming the hell out of my weapons. The only weapon I haven't tried on him yet is the shuriken. I will try it. I think that only goes horizontally, doesn't it? So let's have to jump on, jump and attack him. Let's see if that does more damage. I'm trying to move the stick ever so slightly. Tie the Tasmanian tiger. No, that's not working at all. Ha! Canal. Jumping through the lightning bolts? Should we try jumping over, jumping out of the way of the lightning bolts? I, ain't try, I haven't tried that either yet. Just been trying to do it either, um, I don't know. These lightning bolts feel cheap. They're, they're, yeah, it's one of those lightning bolts where you have to move a little bit each time a bolt comes down, but the first one I can't time properly to avoid. I can do the second and third. But they come down as soon as you hit it. When you attack him, he does it. He stops still and does it. I've just got to get the timing down to do it properly. They come down through him as well. <laughs> when you when you try and change direction, you can't. If you, if you jump backwards, you're, you're also screwed. So I don't know if I have to go the same direction, maybe like that, like that, and like that to avoid it to beat right at the edge. Try that. Try that next. We'll do some. We've got to try something that works. I haven't looked the video up on this one, so I don't know if there's a, a cheese tactic on this one or not. Curses. That was the closest one so far. I managed to avoid that that time. Swapping directions. Jump first one, run the second two. That's the closest I've come so far. I had two health left.
Just looked up how speedrunners handle the last boss. Basically, it's a lot of exploitation of the invisible fire wheel. Invincible fire wheel. Oh, wait, I haven't seen a fire wheel on the stage. If I found one of them, I would have used it, because on Ninja Gaiden 1, that's how you kill all the bosses um, in, like, one hit. You don't, you don't get a fire wheel on Ninja Gaiden 2. I've seen a fire wheel on, this, on, on Ninja Gaiden 3, but not on this stage. And this is another... Maybe I should have had it when I start the level. I don't know. It might rely on them having the fire wheel when they start. Speaking of the fins, oh, is it different? I mean, yeah, I'm thinking of the fin slash. You're right, actually. Yeah. Well, if I see a fire wheel, I'll be sure to keep it. But I haven't seen one yet. I think it's earlier than when you respawn, which means my information... Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, not the best uh, guides for <laughs> first-timers. It's the 1cc... Uh, the, 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 the hitless, the hitless um, videos are normally pretty good. They sh at least show you how to avoid the, the pattern really well. Damageless ones. Fuck. If we had a good strat, but no, I didn't. It, I did it with full health. I didn't have enough Nimpo to finish him off. I got him just just over halfway, like the four health left. Uh, avoiding the lightning was the best one so far. Although, if actually you can go back on this game. Oh, not here. You can't. You can on the other level. It's not, no, I didn't stop him. He still does the attack. He still uh, does the lightning. So basically, one hit, one lightning hits you every time. Yeah, I dealt, I dealt a lot of damage. Nearly finished him, but no, not enough. So the the key is going to be avoiding the attacks. I'm getting there. Uh, the last one I did, I did pretty well avoiding these. They jumped the first one, run left and then right. I'm gonna try it again when I next get to him. In combination with the uh, upward fire fire attack. Here you go, you bastard. Oh, I'm dead now. I couldn't make that jump. Guy. If he misses kick. Yeah, I got it. Ah, yeah. You just, just come and <laughs> go forward the foot, right? Yeah, this is forward the foot plan, this one. You're good. You're all good, man. I figured. I was just saying that if you wanted to hop on the that call too, we could get together. Cheers, Camp. Dave was in here earlier as well. Let's do a let's give her a try. Say good Dave a little shout out to you too. Who else we miss? Don't cover that. Arco, how are you doing, Foggy? Thanks everyone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boogie. Crash cat. <laughs> oh, are you trying to skirt around the rules here? Don't worry, I've got you. <laughs> cat crash catter. Didn't work, look. Oh, it doesn't like you. Why didn't that work? Oh, there you go. You broke it. It's crazy how well... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, they died. 
Did you see that, John? <laughs> okay. Side of the Americans. Back on the Americas 2024. <laughs> That was stupid of me. Oh, I wish there was some hidden pickups on this level. I just need... I want that fire... Fire, fire spin, though. Um, should we do... We'll do We'll do the uh, upward one, because I'm going to get more attacks off on that. If I'm doing, trying this other strategy. Okay. Two, three. Jump. Left. Right. See that? That went well. One, two, three. Jump. Two. One of them got me. Yeah. I'm out of power. Okay, I'm out of power now, and I've got to do regular attacks. I'm being a bit better at avoiding now. No. Ugh. First form down. Yes. I'm, I'm going to show there's two more. <laughs> Unless there's another stage. Thank you, GG. Two to, two to go, yeah. The big alien head. Unless he has two ba big alien heads. I've got no health. Maybe it refill my health. Hell no, it doesn't. Okay. He took a lot of damage from that attack, actually. So as long as I've got a big sword, I might be able to get at least one more form down and then we'll have to do it again. But it depends. I'm, a, I'm hoping that, like Ninja Guy in 1 and 2, your progress on the end boss is stored per attempt but if it resets me I'm gonna have to do that much more efficiently so we'll have to see what happens thanks to GG we'll, we'll, we'll get there hopefully the progress is stored because then I think I'll get it <laughs> it's fine we'll do it Alright, let's wait for the sadness to pass and calm ourselves. Plus, I've got uh, 90 Nimpo, so I'm gonna spam this sucker. Here we go. I'm out of Nimpo now. Oh shit. 
Oh, that went terribly. Oh, no! Cornered me. That did a lot of damage. Oh, well. Now you can do the sad flute. <laughs> fingers, fingers crossed that when we get back to the boss, it's that second form, because I'll have a hope then. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'm confident. Semi confident. How difficult the US version is because this isn't, hasn't been easy. This is on par of the other ones. This is definitely on par of the other Ninja Guidance. Hello, what was that? All the enemies hit harder on top of it. Yeah, they do. And that's the version I grew up on, and I still can't even beat the, the J... Oh, right. Can't even... The, um... Yeah, some of the enemies do different... I think the damage is consistent on this one, but on that one, like, spikes, for example, I heard do, like, a third of your health bar. Um, and there's less items, too. Yeah, that sucks. It's really strange how some games were made easier for US and some were made harder. Like Mega Man 2 is a perfect example of me made easier for US because the Japanese version is basically difficult mode, isn't it? Hard mode. Default difficulty on Mega Man 2 is basically easy. Japanese easy. Took me a while to beat this. <laughs> I, 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 can, I have a guess what you're referring to. You filthy individual. <laughs> okay, we're on the on the same boss. He hits hard. He threw a curveball at me that time. Love was because Japanese game companies hated the rental market. Do, do people really? I, I, I'm trying to think back. Have we ever rented games here? I don't think we did. I think our rental, like blockbusters and that, basically just did VHS. And they might have done some games. I never rented games though. So. I would have thought most people would want to own a game like this, like not just rent it. But I don't know. Don't know how it worked. I guess it'd be a balancing act, right? Because if they made rent, if you made, if you had to rent it too many times, you might as well just buy it, unless that's what they wanted. 
maybe that's what they wanted. Actually, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. I'll shut up now. I'm speaking the obvious. <laughs> Okay, that was really close. I did really bad to avoid those shots, but I did it anyway. Uh, but I'm now about to die on the third form because we've won Pip of Health and no Nimpo. <laughs> that was a bad. That was a bad GG. That was uh, really bad of me. <laughs> I should have done better. That was late. That was a lazy victory. The hell is that? Crack his uh, helmet off first, haven't we? Okay. I did no damage whatsoever because I think the the helmet absorbs damage, doesn't it? It's a goddamn Gundam. I think the helmet must absorb damage, then you get his skull and his brains underneath, right? They attack that weak weak spot in his belly. Right, I think the best weapon against this one might be the uh, shuriken, because it's it fires in a straight line, right? So let's let's take the shuriken this time. Uh, you break the faceplate, face plate, and then you can hit its glowy orb weak point. Yeah, just like number two. Let's do it. Ah, shit. Hit the glowy orb! Fuck. I'm out of Nimpo. I should have saved it for this bit, shouldn't I? <laughs> yes! He down. Now I can rest. Rest my hands, thanks, Gigi. <laughs> what? Let's do the translation. Let's do the really bad translation. This is good. What? <laughs> Thank you, Kat. This corpse is returning to the deep. Why is it trying to translate from J Albanian? I need Japanese. What's Japanese? There we go. I can't remember. It's been so long since I beat this game. Yeah, yeah, I can't. All right. I believe you. Bloody hell, my eyes. My eyes! <laughs> Let's see what it says. Says the final ambition of Clancy and Foster. Why do people have reason? Hold on to your aspirations until they die. Why can't people have ambitions and abandon them until they die? People can't stop searching for their desires, right? Uh, this earth, this world, and people are bound to pursue their dreams. However, on this earth, in this world, and here... <laughs> and if here is not meant for anyone... And for that desire humans fall apart for their desires... You and Futa... What? I wish I could be like this with you again, this world... This is so broken. 
With you again, that's my only wish. I'm so happy to everything. Uh, <laughs> now a new day begins. The, tr <laughs> the really bad Google translation reminds me of that of meme. What was the... Uh, the, the, the nonsense sentence meme. Hold on. I'm sure it's there's there's, there's gonna be uh it's goes like has anyone been as far as to something yet? Has anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want to look more like? <laughs> it's that old meme. Um, indeed, why do people have reason? The progression of antagonist names in the series: Jackio, Ashtar, Clancy. <laughs> I heard this was the in between the la in, in in between the story of the first and the last one. I like it. That's the that's the quickest it's been to beat a ninja guide, though. Uh, that was just under three hours. And uh, yeah, I get to press the button. Get to press the GG button. Look. Forty-two. 42. I will put the correct name on this spreadsheet so people don't think I've beaten the US version because that'd be crazy. And yes, today is May 22nd. Nice. Private cock fuck you're a sight for sore ass, Medal of Honor European Assault. Alright, we've got like an hour. Uh, I'll give you a choice. We can either stick Ape Escape 3 on, do some monkeys. Or I've got a, a Sunsoft game I found, haven't tried yet. Cutesy one, we could try. Um, I'm itching towards probably... Doing some ape escape because we need to do, catch all the monkeys on that game. Barbie. <laughs> oh, we can put Barbie on. Right, if you want me to put Barbie on, we're going to have to do a poll because uh, I'm not just going <laughs> to do that on face value. Um, okay, hold on. We'll do a quick 60 second poll. If I can find the poll button. Because I'm a noob. Where is the poll button? Manage poll. Here we go. Okay, what next? It's on soft game. Barbie. Ape escape. Free. Uh, one minute poll. Go. It's fine, I can set up any of those fairly quickly. Hello Kitty Roller Rescue. I saw that for sale the other day. That's that GameCube. It'd be really unfortunate if only Cat Crasher votes in this Barbie. <laughs> and they, oh yeah, what's Xbox I saw? Yeah. There was someone she liked games. I bought a bunch of um PS3 games from them and it was on there. <laughs> no one's voting for Barbie now. <laughs> I would have done the Barbie one. The PAL version. I would have put the cartridge in and we could have enjoyed. But I kind of wish you did do Barbie now. It's right there. It's like literally there. It's got to plug it in and go and get pink. No one voted for Barbie though. So, uh, okay. I'm going to put Ape Escape on. So they tied. I give you the choice. I give you the illusion of choice. Not bad. <laughs> Alright, let me swap this over. I'm going to do a little bit of Ape Escape for an hour. I need to make some progress on that.
Let's go. See how smooth, and tr smooth that transition was? Wasn't that amazing? Nothing went wrong. We're all good. Professional. Professional job. <laughs> uh, so we did the final boss, and now we have to round up the final apes. Uh, I'm not going to do the uh, time trials, they suck. I'm just going to do the apes, so there's like seven on there. Like It's going to be seven on each stage, probably pretty much. Go for each stage, fight the bosses again. The bosses have changed. I think the bosses have changed. I'm not 100% sure. Then two are still caught. But yeah, we don't want to do time attacks. We just want to do the uh, the captures. Sayaka, I've created an unusual new persona. Ooh. It allows you to transform into a monkey. <sighs> a monkey persona, nice. Now you can mix with the monkeys like you're one of their own. You can practice proper monkey behavior in the training zone. Go to the training zone? Yes, train me. So there's lots of left to do then. Okay. I am a monkey in a zip-up costume. I love it. I've got the best persona yet. Can I transform into a knobhead? So they look like this. Secret room. And then what do we do? Catch the monkeys. So this gets you in the secret rooms. Here I go. What's the goal? I was laughing uncontrollably at work today. What happened? I was laughing uncontrollably earlier. Wait, wait, typing. I was laughing uncontrollably because I tried to put an autocorrect on Lorna's phone from uh, walk to wank, <laughs> but I was laughing so much she she, she made me remove it. She's gonna punish me. <laughs> I'll be using this mobile that would have been good. Sad, sad, sad that it can happen. There was a video of a gorilla throwing his what? What? There was a video of a gorilla throwing his wife, and he realised he fucked up and ran away, and his wife screamed at him. A gorilla throwing his wife. Listen carefully. The gotcha gadgets you have now are use the stun club to and the monkey 
Why is this telling me this? This is old trainer, none of this. Okay, so we need to get this out. Not this. This. Not far, but he did. And it's broke. Gorilla Domestic. I can relate to the Gorilla Domestic. Okay. He is up high. So we are going to need a slingshot. There he is. Not too far. Gotcha, Spencer. All right. Wait, where's that one? I'm an executive, you know. Skelly is having a, a tea party. Literally there. Why did I miss him? Didn't see him last time. Yeah, go on then. I've, oh, yeah. so Discord. I'm having a... a, a in, an, what's the word what I'm thinking of? In a conflict about what to do about Discord. I know people don't want to join a million discords. But I also need a place to tell people uh, about announcements and Philip CDI stream and all this jazz. So I don't know whether to make one or try and convince <laughs> Cards to Do Cards to let us have individual channels. Or do something completely different. I don't know what to do. I don't want to... I, don't, I think they're annoying. I think when everyone has their own discord it's annoying. But... Uh, I kind of don't see any alternative because the social media platforms suck. And Mastodon's alright, but I don't want to go on X anymore because Elon Musk is a fuckwit. So I, I don't know, I'm having a dilemma here on what to do. Because on the one hand I need to chat to people when I'm not streaming, and on the other hand, it's Discord. Now those who want to join, join. To make a fucking Discord, not force the people to join. I've got your own channel, and you guys, it's a really shitty idea. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I just thought, like, if everyone had one Discord, it'd be easier, but yeah, okay. I've done this before. All art begins with banana. Cut. Why did I find this monkey last time then? Because I came in here. M. Clyderman. That's all of them. Four left. Where is that pointing to? Must be another way. Not that way. I don't know. There must be another way up high. Up there, look. I'll make him fly up there. Let's try flying. Hey, thanks, GG. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Uh, maybe this is one of those secret monkey hideouts. Let's try using the costume. It is. Secret monkey hideout. Here they all are, look. It's tea time. Yeah, it's GG. We got, we got the GG, thank you. Party's over! Damn it. Yeah, we got the GG. It took about three hours in total to beat. Which is pretty good for me. I'm happy with that. Oh, fuck.
I am Mrs. Nesbitt. See the hat? Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's really pissed. He's took my stuff. I suppose I'd be pissed if someone destroyed my tea party. Can Kichi. Last one. He's pissed. Spoiled his coffee. Tamizo is in the bag. Cheers, Mill. Yeah, I've got 42 GGs now. Well on our way to uh, 100, hopefully. Is that a dog barking? <laughs> I think it's a fucking dog barking. Mm -hmm. I've got that right. Cheers. Uh, free play mode allows you to re replay cleared stages. I don't need to do that. Oh, and you can film okay, I see. Uh, I don't say sorry, you read my message as pissed off even though we spoke 30 minutes ago. I think people get the wrong idea and you put yourself on a pedestal I don't know and if you're gonna do that far might as well make your own that's my take and no one has his own okay I know I don't I don't mean it's like putting the I think like it should be for everyone because I, I it's not even my discord by the way <laughs> I, was, I just wanted to float the idea because I think if everyone tries to make their own like it sucks to be in so many and I don't even like discord as a platform like if it's proprietary and closed and it's literally just a forum I just reinvented the wheel. But yeah, I get your point. I'm not pissed off. <laughs> I just really don't know what to do. It's gonna be pretty empty for a while. We'll slowly build up. Just postpone it. Well, I have made one. I just haven't. Why does it stop working? Put it crash then. I have made one. I just haven't posted the link anywhere yet. Is empty, of course. Here I go. Right there, one down there. Welcome, Muffin. Hey, Wolfhander, how you doing? Muffin is very humble, little chap. What's that? What? Why? <laughs> I wish I could yodel. Howdy -ho! Howdy -ho! How you doing? We uh, we beat the Ninja Garden free. The Japanese version. And now we're just going to do some uh, monkey stages on this and try and catch all the apes that we've missed. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah. 
refuse to believe it. Hello! I'll make a clip. I don't think uh, Amir was uh, targeting that, you can't. <laughs> He's just being kind. Wait, is it up? Okay, I don't know. It's over here somewhere. It must be a secret monkey door. Hold on. It is a secret monkey door. Right, let's go in there. They're having the tea party, and I'm here to ruin it. What actually were they doing? <laughs> what I walked into? Goat Lord? Secret monkey door is a euphemism for buttholes. Is it? I <laughs> don't want to do my bedroom. <laughs> Does it smell of bananas? Is the question. I was gonna let. I'll go back in. Come on. Oh shit, that one punched me in the back. Son of a bitch. Look at that CRT. They look exactly the same because they are twins. <laughs> Muffin states the obvious. Ah, uh, Caminato. Marukichi. Is that all of them? Yep, we're good in there. <laughs> Logic with muffin. Safety, safety first. Look, the exits are clearly marked in case of fire. Oh yeah, the Philips CDI stream. I think we're going to do on Friday the thirty-first. Uh, so not this Friday, the Friday after. I'm off that week. So I'm probably going to try and start early. I put it in the schedule as 6 p.m. until midnight, but if the kids are not, if the kids I guess are out, two is a nice number, Mario Land. If the kids aren't here, I will um, maybe start earlier in the afternoon. Uh, but it'll be that day. It should be that day for sure. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to definitely gonna try and beat Hotel Mario, and we'll play the, the Zelda and the Link game. And Inca. I want to play Inca. And maybe Keffer as well, the big faces. It's gonna be cool. It'll be my first try of some of these games as well. For for years. I haven't played them for years. I've deliberately like held off playing them to wait for this stream, so should be pretty cool. As far as Philip C D R goes, it should be pretty cool. There's a monkey in there. What is this dirt, Bill? What did you say? The Philip CDI stream, Emil. The Philip CDI. On the Nick, not this Friday, the Friday after. Is 
This is definitely a monkey door, isn't it? Oh, it's not. I could see, I could see, um... Huh, okay. Damn it. Uh, are you leaving Dexter and the other kiddo in the kettle so you can stream what? No, I think they're going to the grandparents on Friday. So I'll, I'll have the, uh, the house to myself. So I'll be able to play Phillips. Any more streams this week? Let me think. Today's Wednesday. Uh, I'm trying not to do two consecutive days, so I don't think it'll be tomorrow. If we do anything, it'll be Friday, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I can only commit. I can definitely only commit to like Monday and Wednesdays as definite ones. The rest are going to be surprise ones. I, I, I'm trying not to overdo it. But yeah, we'll see what happens. It's the last monkey. You list. Got him. Does your other child not have a name? Just the kiddo. <laughs> I don't speak about him, him so much. He's only two. His, his name's Alex. Panda gonna rip me a new one for not knowing their names. Noise save. Free, <laughs> Uncle Cat. Yahoo! All right, they get stars on there when they're done. Look. Here I go. <laughs> A strange uncle. Uncle Shrek. <laughs> Uncle Shrek, that's the one. <laughs> oh man, I've got so many Shrek games. Yeah, I've, I've been going through all my games, so I've got uh, I've got Shrek on at least four consoles. <laughs> we got a PS2 Shrek, got a GameCube Shrek, we've got an Xbox Shrek. Let's see what one we got. I feel like Shrek on the Game Boy as well. Game Boy Advance. Okay. Let's go get some things. I should start keeping the memes that are funny, but have you seen the one where it says, Why well, haven't you touched your Shrek first? And it's like Donkey and Shrek made of avocado. <laughs> Nothing yet, must be inside. Why can't I push that? You should be able to push that. It's got a handprint on it. Oh, it's already been done. It's the way down there, look. I've seen that one? Everyone fucking sends me all the Shrek memes. <laughs> so it should be. Nice. Coffee, I'm good. I'm at dinner finally. How are we going to do if when you next go to work they've le left you a stern passive aggressive note about your setup with a smiley face at the end
something to do with this sword in the middle. I never did this the last time, did I? I'll have you know, I'm quite reasonable at work. What, what? <laughs> okay. Does this sword do anything? I don't know. It doesn't seem to do anything. Reason means he's, he's, taught, he's been talked to by HR. <laughs> I reply to my contact, they're still here when I arrive. Alright. <laughs> I can still leave your letter. Don't have to tell you verbally. Okay, this looks like a monkey door. Monkey door right here. You wait and see. Open up. Play a lot around. Uh, D Elfman, Monkey D, Morgan, King's Double. Is that all of them? Looks like it. There's one more to find, or two more to find. Oh, they're in the ballroom dancing. The last time I got here, I could only catch one of them because I, I got them all. So we just got to go in that room. Oops. Uh, where was it? Upstairs. I remember they were, they were dancing around in this ball ballroom. I made a, a gruesome joke. I remember. Oh, it's there! It's swinging from the chandelier. Look. Solomonk's the last one to catch. Oh, this is his favoritism, cat. I, I asked you ages ago, hey, your secret recipe. And, and what panda asked once, and you're like, spilling your guts. Tell him how to do it, exactly. Every, every single ingredient, every single process. You just upset because I called it an omelette. <laughs> I did! <laughs> I wanted the exact, the exact uh, steps, the exact, exact measurements. I don't want to overdo the egg, you see. 
Trail of Dragon. Do I have to do this again then? I do, look, a zero out of one. So we're gonna catch him again. That was a good start, wasn't it? Whee! Right, what are we going to use to kill him? Wild Wild West. Raw's Chicken Deluxe. Can't turn the camera. This weapon does a. It's good because it keeps firing, but I don't think it does that much damage. Right, run out of power. Ugh, they got blown off then. Shit, I need them cookies. Finished. Yeah. Ops, I wasn't supposed to hit the woman, legend of the mystical ninja. <laughs> there we go. Just wonderful. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Okay, let's save. Fifty-five percent. All right, they get so we want red, yellow stars, and X's. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two stages to go <laughs> to get hundred percent. you're on about oops <laughs> listen tiny always come up with some reason why i hate women <laughs> i've seen <laughs> this legendist okay let's go find these monkeys uh what's in the hole for and why didn't i see him last time you bastard. Monkey-nator, you have been monkey-nated. Next. I'm out of the race. I don't want to race. Are you not entertained? Are you? Are you not? Get closer. <laughs> I'm not really. <laughs> Dis disrespect, disrespect, and uh, Melissa and Tony. Dis disrespect. <laughs> um. Okay. Here we go. The 
fuck's going on in here? It's a bank job. Oliver. Oh wow, he got really pissed off, didn't he? Mucho demand. Mucho demand. I like it. And Paulie. Is that all of them? It's all of them in here. None are coming up on the radar. Does that mean they're in the racing car? No, there's none in the racing car. So we are looking for a secret way somewhere. Yeah. Wasn't there a stadium? I think there was, I remember a stadium here. It's like Gladiator Arena. Or oh, it might be a sports stadium. Well, but I'm not really a misogynist. I think every, I hate everyone equally. I am a misanthrope. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> Everyone's cunt. There's gonna be a secret room in here, right? It's gotta be. Something back there. Exit. Different exit, right? Must be. No, I'm just in the same place. Fuck it. Where am I gonna go then? Huh. been in that theatre yet? I thought that's where I went for the, the bank. No, it's different. Herman the moose is in the bag. Joe the mouth is in the bag. He's got to be someone with a moustache. Oh, just Sven. <laughs> Sven. Sven's in the bag. And then we've got this last one. He can't see me. He doesn't know I'm here. This is stealth. Sleepless Simon in the bag. Done. Nook stage.
I'll share it. You should stop at the shops every now and then. You'll find that they I'll give it a trial <laughs> for a month. We'll see how bad it becomes. But it's completely empty right now, so don't don't expect any content. <laughs> I at least made some channels. Fifty seven. Alright. Getting that. Uh, Spectre TV. What was that one? I can't remember this one. I think I... Here I go! No dick pics. No dick pics, please. I remember this stage. Yeah, I remember this one. Okay, Kogi. Okay, right, so... Behind here. There's a monkey door. It doesn't look like a secret door. No, I must have to go around to get in there. And there's one up there as well. Yeah. Yeah. That was the really good video. Awesome. <laughs> what, am I in there? I don't even know anymore, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. So I mean, like, everyone's in too many discords. No one can keep track. This is, this is my internal predicament. I've done it now. This is the best track in the game. I like it. He's got his shake weight out. Gotcha. Oh, I was hoping to dance that music. It's disappointing. Uh, we need this out. Okay, we've got some this way. I have an S folder of frequently frequent <laughs> discords. I'll put it in there. Let me just spend oh thanks. <laughs> it's better being than the C folder for cunts, so uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> Rio is always on the go. Let's go this way. Show me what you got! A space robot arm, a game with slime in it. That is a that is a special request. You know, I'm really disappointed because I don't have the uh, Ghostbusters special edition slime edition because that version is literally the slime and the cartridge By is the slime. Bubsy I don't 3D, have it. the greatest game of our generation. I don't even have. Oh god, there's. I don't have the ooze on the Mega Drive yet. I want that one. I don't have it. Let me think. What else has slime in it? I've just thought of two and I don't have... I don't own them. <laughs> Sp split spoon facts. Ah, uh, let me think. Let's go for a Nez one with slime in it because I can narrow it down. This is, this is, this is, this is like a game show. Like I got fun. Didn't realize when I chose that the Ghostbusters would be an easy answer. We had, yeah, Ghostbusters have does have slime in it. I could just pull that out, but I was saying like the the, the special edition that they made, like the modern remake, 
not Ron, Ron Reed. They did a they did a, a, a hack of Ghostbusters where they introduced Winston and um, Lewis Tully, and they released a slime edition. It was all yeah, slimy. <laughs> Uh, for those who didn't watch Space Robot Arm, he's the biggest Bubsy fan there is. Yeah, I've got Bubsy 3D. You want to see it? Cat's underpants are slimy. Nice. You can do another shout out for Space Robot Arm while I search if you want. Slime games. Slime. Apart from Ghostbusters. Please. This is tough. Menuji se mav. So me to shit udela. Not really slow. She me cleared. Moji sur des j ne mosh ni pospis j dost slab. Ma prete. No, it's more of a swampy thing, that's not slime. I don't want to pull Ghost Wars set, that's the obvious one. Oh, here we go. Wow. Does that count as slime? I think it does count as slime. I know one. I'm gonna get two. Where have I put it? Okay, it's behind there. Curses. I'm back. <laughs> Bubsy. I, I should play Bubsy on the Jaguar again. It's amazing. Alright. I tried to not to go for the obvious ones. I, I said about the obvious ones. Good request. So I've picked these. Uh, the first one is where you have... Oh god. The first one I've picked because it has slime as an enemy, like you go in the caves and the slime drips down, and that is the uh, the Star Wars game. I picked the Master System one, because I couldn't find the NES one quick enough. I knew where this was. Right at the beginning, you play as Luke and you're in a cave, and that slime drips down. I don't have the ooze. I'd like the ooze. This is uh, US Gold, but actually, like, normally US Gold games are, are pretty bad. Um, but I actually prefer the Master System version to the NES version, so that's one. Let me put this on as well. Surprised and disappointed. No movies. I don't have the use. It's a lot of money the use is. Do you know how much money that is? But yeah, this is this is it. You might recognise it. You're probably more familiar with the NES version, but I think this one plays better than the NES version. Um, I still haven't beaten this. I can, I got to the like Death Star level. And the second one. Has a price tag stopped you? Well, <laughs> no, but the, it's, it's the use. I know it's not a great game. It's, it's all right, but it's not. I don't think it's worth the money. <laughs> uh, the second one I picked up was, um, I, I, I guess you could call it slime, but he's technically a blob. I got the boy in his blob. Trouble in Blobolonia. <laughs> I really like this. This is like two games in one. First ever beat it after a lot of trials and tribulations. It was it, um, what, ooze. I like Boy in this blob because, well, it's a tough sell. The first part of the game, you explore this massive cave and you have to find, what do you have to find? Use jelly beans to make your blob turn into things. And you have to find like uh, keys or some kind of treasure or whatever. Uh, and once you've done that, you get jetted off to his planet, Blobolonia, and it turns into like an action platform where you've got to avoid everything. Um, yeah, I don't like the second part of the game that much. But yeah, that's my choice. I hope they satisfied the uh, the slime requirements. And you reminded me that I need to get the slime edition of Ghostbusters because I want it. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. 
Um, we beat Ninja Gaiden 3 earlier, Japanese version, and now we're playing a little bit of Apescape, trying to catch all the, the missing monkeys to get uh, the final, like, the proper ending. <laughs> Monk Strong. This is Alden, then. Oh, it's, it's Rio. That's Welcome! Awesome. Hey, Eftana, how's, how's it going? Welcome. Did it? Did it? Did, <laughs> did you hear that? I could. I did the Japanese version of um, Ninja Garden Free. It was good. I liked it. Not as hardcore as you. <laughs> Thank you for the slime. Hey, thanks. Wait, is that? A... Dude, He's trapped. <laughs> I see now. I see where this is going. Thanks, GG. It took about three hours. I liked it. It was, it was it was pretty much the same as the first and second one, really, in terms of there's no birds. That was good. Um, but yeah, I think I, I wouldn't have been able to do that with limited <laughs> continues and more difficulty without a lot of practice, a lot of streams. So it wouldn't have been good for the GG100. But yeah, we'll be doing some more Ninja Garden games because um, Dr. Watt came in earlier and did another redeem. He redeemed the Game Boy version of Ninja Gaiden. So I've got to either put that on the EverDrive or um, grab a copy for a near future stream. Yeah. Should be cool. Right, we are missing a monkey. Exit this area. Torture and buffing of always. Exit. Ah, oh, Central Lotus. That's, they're the ones I saw earlier. So, where are the hidden monkeys? Gonna be in one of the side rooms. Let's try down here. Uh, nice, I have enough puntos, but I haven't decided what game yet or to redeem. <laughs> redeem some sounds if you'd rather. SFX. Got redeem for that now if you want to add uh, request sound effects. Dingo came in here Monday and requested and did the redeem but didn't send me the file. Curses. Well, this was the uh, the circus. Let's go that way. Marco's trying to bait me into redeeming games. He suggests. <laughs> Thinks I'm stupid. To be fair, I, I think as soon as you saw Barbie, you were gonna redeem that one. To be fair, but uh, you you surprised me. <laughs> This one. It's very pink. To quote Guybrush Freakwood, it's pink! <laughs> Genuinely love that eye. It's pretty cool, Still nothing. Must be outside. Done this. This is a game show, right? Still not here. Um, I've seen a few plays of that lately. The game is hot garbage. <laughs> AVGM played it ages and ages ago. The sprite is really big. Don't know how bad it is. The tagline on the box is, um, <laughs> let me read it. A glamorous quest full of magic, fun and adventure.
Right, there's gonna be a room hidden, hidden somewhere because there's four monkeys left. They'll all be, all be in the same room. I know it. Yeah. Got it. This way. There's gonna be a door here somewhere. Up? Above me? Huh, okay, it's up there. Secret door. Chimpy. Nadine. Sylvia. And the last one is called... Jesse. Sweet, we'll get through this in no time. Did you get through um, Adventure Island after Hunter? You're still working on that. I think last time we spoke, you were pretty close with the bee. Monday the 16th, a nightmare on Palm Street. Okay. We'll do a couple more. area. I haven't been able to stream this week. I've uh, been working late every day. Ah, uh, that sucks. No. Hopefully you don't forget how you've done it. Like, how you haven't lost the momentum. No, you'll get it. Six left to get. Yeah. Still nothing on the radar. Go deeper. Here we go. Gonna be in the house.
Hearthstone. Oh no, it's down there. Uh, if the job site is close by, I usually get out a bit early and have time, but this new site is about almost two hour drive each way. Whoa. It's a long commute. <laughs> Make a chance. use the uh, shield. Is it, there's, there seems to be something behind this wall. Let's try the costume. No, not let me in. Oh, there we go. The clock up. It's got a freaking <laughs> chainsaw. Stop, stole my thing. Stole my net. Dan. Junior us? What? I don't get it. Oh, dangerous. Oh, god damn it. The puns are bad in this one. <laughs> the puns are definitely not as good as in this game as they were in uh, Apescape 1. Tutankhamen. Oh, okay. That's not bad. It's not great either, though. <laughs> Ethan. Didn't even try. From the ceiling and one of the in like a turd thing. Oh, it's excess. We, we haven't been this far. <laughs> wow. But the gameplay doesn't correlate with the narrative. The monkeys are just chilling, having fun. They're not being bad. We're the bad guy. I know. I think in Ape Escape 1, it was like more like they were terrorizing the timeline and changing things, and it was definitely bad, but. <laughs> They are literally just making TV shows in this. It's not even evil. Yeah, yeah. no monkeys in the TV studio. Those are the rules. Them's the rules. Look at that. That's funny. <laughs> Mika Chan. Why was that name Mika Chan? That wasn't even on theme. Um, it's one left. I saw it close by. Naked Ape. City water is filthy. All right, let's go find this Naked Ape. It's in the shower. Yep. <laughs> Ruined a shower. Go. Damn, this naked ape is really feisty. Naked ape is in the bag. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to keep going on until uh, I assume Space Robot will be uh, starting. Oh no, it's Thursday. Wait, is it Wednesday or Thursday? It was Wednesday. That means I think Space Robot will be on soon. 
maybe. We'll raid in there when we're done. It was Wednesday when I started. The Magnificent Monkeys. Uh, there's eight to count on that, catch on this. So happy you watched the gorilla video. It's only 25 seconds. If you'd like to show the capture, I just want to see your reaction. <laughs> now I'm on the spot. Now I've got to control my reaction. <laughs> what a first post. <laughs> With the nurse. <laughs> Let's have a look. Is he a tosser? Well. <laughs> How do you know it was the wife gorilla? It was at this point. You know he'd fucked up. <laughs> it was at this point. He know he'd fucked up. <laughs> I've got a video on... It's probably on my own old... Photo stream or whatever of uh, just the ape standing there masturbating to the crowd. I'll have to see if I can find it. I'll send it to you. I love it. Okay, let's just get them. Let's go in the saloon. <laughs> yeah, I imagine I get similar reaction. Uki the kid. Uh, such a half ass pro. <laughs> I love it. I was eight times at work. Ah, oh, shit. I keep watching the video where um, they, they're like a, a band, but they use like traffic cones and like just junk to do the songs. It's really funny. I'll send it to you. Yeah. The, the, one of uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, I'm bad. And they did another song. I can't remember what the other song was. They're good. It's not monkey related though. Where's that bandito hiding? Wait. At the table. I didn't see that one. Oh, he's up there, look. Okay. What's this thing? Monkey Primate only consumer? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna bother them. <laughs> I'll find the monkey masturbating. Not a video at the zoo. Nico, Nico de Boss. That's what it said. That's exactly what it said. Right, we're done in here. Don't see any more. We've got to go in the next area. This this place had canyons and trains and all sorts. I think it was a pretty big level. Nothing here either, so it must be on the train.
definitely someone there. Must be a secret room on the train. Uh, there's a great video of an aquarium. They're trying to make a nice family video, and you just hear some kid excitedly shouting about the hippo. <laughs> Look at its pussy. <laughs> Live now? Okay. I'm gonna make this my last level then. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'll be like 10 minutes probably. Finishing this off. I want I don't even know you could down, go down there in the canyon okay it's probably down there then I didn't go down there last time I thought you died if you went down there oh there's a whole new area I haven't been in sweet get into that. Right. I see me. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> I just like it, this attitude. They see it on funny videos. Poor monkey. Okay. There's only a few left. So there's one up here somewhere. Might be a secret door. peak. Yeah. Secret door here. Let's bust this joint. I'm a nice little tea party look. I'm a friend. Uki Mamba. Leah. Amos. And the last one is... Lex. In the bag. Nice. Very good. The, the boss, right? Blue Monkey. Yeah, we beat the Blue Monkey in the more quarter night. He's a uh, space robot. I'm still in starting soon. 30 seconds. I can do this in 30 seconds. <laughs> we'll jump in there and say hi. What power did I use last time? I use this one. I'm sorry, did you use uh I did. I can show you them anyway though if you want to see. 
We did, we did one at a time this time, so we had three retro pickups. I've got some NES games from uh, Cash Converters. Take this, you son of a bitch. Run out of power. Let's get some more powers and then we'll uh, shoot him again. Full power. I wish I had places like that around. Any place you can find retro games is a porn shop. Cash Converters is basically a porn shop. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to do something. Then. Cash Converters is a... Uh... Well, it's not so much a porn shop, I guess. It's uh, they, 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 they buy stuff from the public, though. Oh shit, I died. What's I supposed to do there then? Why don't I just use the, the, the gun slinger again? Ah, uh, let's do it again. Yeah, I got these. Uh, I'll show you quick. Since I'm taking forever to do this boss. And the first one I got was Prince Valiant, which is a. It kind of looks like an explore exploration game, but yeah, it's all night themed. Uh, they got roller games, Konami game, and we got. I just picked this up because it was cheap. Uh, Battleship. I got it's, this was cheap, but um, I see it on eBay for a lot more, and I don't understand why because it's just battleships. <laughs> and the last one I got was the best one. It's Barbie, but I think I showed this earlier. Yeah, Barbie. Barbie was the other retro pickup. Gotta get Barbie. <laughs> I do like I, I like picking up um, even like not very good obscure NES games because I just like I just love NES games. They're, they're, they're my favorite to collect for, especially when they're in good shape like these ones. Like one of them had a like a ripped flap, but I, I cleaned it up really well, so you can't notice. I got I clean them up really well with um, well all sorts. Sticky up the uh, the broken bits. Kind of what I did last time to beat this guy. Oh, he's dead. He's mine. Crazy that the box is in that good shape. I've never seen a game in a box outside eBay or at a convention. Uh, convention for retail. I have a super hard time collecting because I'll be paying retail for everything, basically. Yeah, I did. Got to be vigilant in like I have to be vigilant in like smaller stores, but these have online stores. So basically, every couple of days, I'll go on cash converters and I'll sort by newness and see what they've got because they do sometimes put things up cheaper. I don't know why they do it, um, but I get some nice finds from them. CEX is more money, but they're, they're bit, CEX are a bit better now because they tell you if they've got the manual or not. They didn't used to do that. Um, who else do I use? Uh, Something's getting from Chill Out Games, which is another website, but they uh, are expensive. Yeah, I don't get many things from like people, individuals anymore. Like, you used to be able to get things from car boots and stuff, uh, flea markets, whatever you call them. Not anymore. I don't see anything. 
to see uh, shit games. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm gonna wrap it up there. We've done the save. We're on like 60%. I think that's pretty good. We'll probably beat that uh, in a couple of streams. Maybe next stream. But yeah, I don't know when I'll be next on this week. Um, I will be... I'll, I'll tell you again, next Friday, not this Friday, the Friday after, we'll be doing the Philips CDI stream. I will try to be on early that day. So it'll be like a, at least a six-hour stream of Philips CDI jank. So you can expect Link, uh, Zelda, Hotel Mario, Keffer, um, Inca, Max Magic, which is sealed. We'll open that on stream. See lots of Philips CDI stuff that day. Um, yeah, we do have a Discord now. I'll, I'll put the link up again if you want to join that. I made it like today. <laughs> CDI, yes. And yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out today. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support to Ninja Gaiden game. Um, we are going to raid into Space Robot Arm. <laughs>